The poet Su Dongpo wrote a poem in praise of bamboo. Tis better to go without meat than bamboo. Without meat, one becomes thin. Without bamboo, one becomes uncultured. Bamboo, with its graceful appearance and image, has always been favored by Chinese literati and elites. Bamboo is a monocotyledon plant in the family of Poaceae, mainly distributed in tropical or subtropical monsoon climate belts of Asia. In Taiwan, bamboo can be seen from plains to high elevation areas. Bamboo differs from ordinary woody plants in its rapid height growth. Some can gain one meter or more in a day, and attain full development in two or three months. Afterward, it will not grow taller or gain girth, but retain the same size until death. The above-ground portion of a bamboo is segmented combs, branches, and leaves. The base of bamboo combs connect to underground rhizomes. From the growth conditions of the underground rhizomes, bamboos in Taiwan can be grouped as monopodial and sympodial. Since ancient times, in addition to providing bamboo shoots as delicacy foodstuff, bamboo combs have been extensively utilized in our livelihood. Bamboo baskets, chairs, mats, fence poles, and even rib supports of walls are all commonly seen. Bamboo has numerous fields of applications. Also, because of the underground rhizomes and growth characteristics, the poet Zheng Banqiao wrote this about bamboo. Biting hard into mountain green, I plant roots deep into rocks unseen. Braving tribulations, I stand my ground, however the winds blow round. This poem reflects the efficacy of bamboo on soil and water conservation. However, with the shifting ages and developing technology, bamboo has gradually been replaced by materials such as plastic, cement, and steel. Bamboo handicrafts also suffered low price competition from China and Southeast Asia, making it increasingly difficult for Taiwan's bamboo industry. A large portion of bamboo forests deteriorated due to long periods without harvesting or management, and this vastly decreased functions of ecological and homeland security, such as bamboo productivity, water conservation, and collapse prevention. In fact, Taiwan's climate and environment are ideal for bamboo growth. In numbers, the monopodial makino bamboo, moso bamboo, and sympodial ma bamboo, thorny bamboo, and green bamboo make up the majority of bamboo forests. According to the last general survey of bamboo resources in Taiwan, there were 175,638 hectares of bamboo forests. Among these, the sympodial ma bamboo accounted for 52 percent, thorny bamboo 18 percent, and green bamboo 2.5 percent. The monopodial makino bamboo accounted for 25 percent and moso bamboo 1.9 percent. Recently, however, the amount of bamboo harvested has decreased year by year, with the area of bamboo forests left abandoned or unattended monopodial bamboos gradually expanding. Resurvey of bamboo forest distribution in Taiwan is urgently needed in conjunction with proper management strategies. In recent years, the UN has ascertained a carbon emission trading scheme amid the issues of climate change and carbon sequestration. According to the clean development mechanism established therein, the calculated amount of carbon captured through biomass change by the trees can become a tradable commodity. Therefore, bamboo has the advantage of fast growth compared to woody plants often requiring several decades to mature, with a faster rate of carbon capture by a bamboo forest than a forest of trees in the short term. Recently, bamboo's carbon sequestration efficacy has received attention from a number of countries. For instance, based on existing experimental data, a hectare of makino bamboo has 60 tons of dry mass with a rotation period of five years. Annual growth of the bamboo is 12 tons. On the other hand, a hectare of broadleaf forest at 20 years of age has 140 tons of dry mass at a rotation of 20 years with average annual growth only seven tons. Thus, bamboo forest can accumulate biomass production at a higher rate per unit time than other forest trees and has a better carbon sequestration effect. Due to the relative lightness of bamboo combs, 
Harvesting causes less impact to the forest floor and the soil recovers easier. Removal of above ground culms allows the underground rhizomes to remain intact and re-sprout. No expenditure is necessary for ground clearing or forest regeneration, which are some more benefits of properly managed and harvested bamboo forest. Harvested bamboo culms can be processed with advanced technologies. For example, utilizing a carbonizing technique to produce bamboo charcoal and bamboo vinegar. Using high temperature dry air to treat green culms in making smoked bamboo medium. A material with special coloration, decay and insect resistance which can be used in bamboo wicker work, handicrafts, etc. Using an eco-friendly chemical engineering technique to create green color retained bamboo and special bamboo with cracked earth patterns which can be used in decorative art and building material. Developing refined crafting and processing techniques to manufacture delicate utensils and furniture from small pieces such as teapots and gift items to large pieces like tables, chairs and cabinets with a wide range of applications. And to accentuate the strength and resiliency of bamboo by using rotary and plain sliced bamboo veneer laminating techniques to produce green building materials, decorative wall paneling and bamboo flooring. Taiwan's bamboo forests have great potential for future development in bamboo-based industry. Firstly, proper harvesting and utilization can maintain the growth of nascent space, improve the productivity of bamboo, and accumulate a large amount of biomass in a short time. Coordinating development and executing bamboo forest working specifications will help meet demand for bamboo forest certification. Secondly, ever-changing technologies and strengthening development of new ways to use bamboo not only can reduce CO2 concentration in the environment, but also support purchases of carbon emission credits by enterprises, as well as bring new development opportunities for Taiwan's bamboo forests.